for I can see that in the midst of death life persists, in the midst of untruth truth persists, in the midst of darkness light persists. Hence I gather that God is life, truth, light. He is love. He is the supreme good. So many great leaders have dedicated their lives in search of the truth. Mohandas, Karamchand Gandhi, known to the world as the Mahatma or great soul, believed his life consisted of experiments in his path to seek the truth. Gandhi was no king, nor dictator, nor a general, nor even a president or prime minister. He was neither a politician, a tycoon, nor a pacifist. If anything, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was a constant seeker in spirituality, religion, self-reliance, health, education, medicine, child care, and the empowerment of women. No field escaped his search. An adamant idealist, courageous fighter, deep thinker, and ultimately a leader amongst men. Gandhi shared his message of peace with the world. He was both a moral and a spiritual teacher. A man who changed the course of history with his principles of non-violence and truth, who inspired movements for civil rights and freedom right across the world. When the QI group began in 1998, a diverse group of people of different nationalities and cultures came together for a common purpose. A man who was least likely to be considered as a corporate icon by anyone was the one man that united all members of the founding team unanimously. He was admired and held in respect, Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi's teachings of truth, service, care, and raising oneself are the core values that have held the QI House together. He still inspires us to continue to achieve our vision and to make a difference in every life we touch throughout the world. Mahatma Gandhi was born in Gujarat, India on October 2nd, 1869. His father, Karamchan, was the Prime Minister in Porbanda, a coastal state which is still in modern-day Gujarat. His mother, Putlibai, was someone Gandhi saw and described as a deeply religious woman. Gandhi, educated as a lawyer in England, briefly practiced law in South Africa. While in South Africa, Gandhi faced racial discrimination for the first time. He was thrown off a train after refusing to move from the first class despite holding a valid first class coach ticket and was beaten by a conductor for refusing to make way for a European passenger. These events awakened in him the stark realities of social injustice which continued to influence his subsequent social activism. He championed the civil rights movement in South Africa, inspiring succeeding generations of South African activists seeking to end the apartheid rule all the way to Mandela himself. Gandhi wrote of this injustice. It passes my comprehension how human beings, be they ever so experienced and able, can delight in depriving other human beings of that precious right called freedom. Gandhi was the pioneer of Satyagraha, meaning unflinching adherence to the truth. This, among all else, was instrumental to the independence of India. Satyagraha, translated into political movement, 
is resistance to tyranny through mass civil disobedience, which was firmly founded upon the concept of ahimsa. Ahimsa in Sanskrit means simply non-violence. In the broader, more succinct sense of the word, it means all life is sacred. Gandhi's teachings on Ahimsa have inspired us in the QI group to adopt vegetarianism as a corporate philosophy. In Gandhi's own words, he says, I not only practice vegetarianism, but also the strict control of one's palate. A man who wants to control his passions easily does so if he controls his palate. I have philosophical reasons to advocate vegetarianism. I believe that animals have the same right to life. Gandhi is a man who believed that non-violence was the way to change the world. Gandhi once said, consciously or unconsciously, every one of us does render some kind of service or other. To be in a state of in-service, one has to be in a state where one is constantly, in a manner of speaking, in service. This particular aspect of service is essentially a state of being. If we cultivate the habit of doing service deliberately, our desire for service will steadily grow, making not only our own happiness, but also contributing to the happiness of the world at large. Raise yourself to help mankind. Rhythm is our way of recreating Gandhi's message born half a century ago. It is the primary mission of the QI group and rhythm is our corporate heartbeat. It fuels our every move and moves us to higher standards and higher goals. It defines us. It separates us from the rest of the world. Truth, service, care, raising oneself. These are the core values of the QI group. And within this framework, the family, our QI family has flourished and continue to uphold its vision to create something that would change the lives of people around the world. Today, neither language nor culture, nor state nor stature, nor caste nor creed, nor country nor color, nor size nor sensibility bar us from coming together as one. In many a case, members of the QI family feel themselves to be closer to those that they work with and those that they share their hopes, dreams and lives within a common goal, which is to raise yourself to help mankind. Love is the force that holds people together and causes them to rise above themselves even. For Gandhi, truth combined with love was the greatest force throughout history. Gandhi spent all his life contemplating on life, truth, faith and love until a misled nationalist assassinated him on that eventful day, 30th of January, 1948. We are the QI group and like everyone else who has been touched by his message, Gandhi's magic continues to weave its own special brand of miracles, not only amongst us, but throughout mankind. We remember the Mahatma. We remember how he changed the world. We celebrate him.